Hi, I'm Joe Gertis, and this is Coffee in the Capital. Today we have Rob Gormose, Secretary of Intergovernmental Affairs in the Office of Governor Tom Wolf. One of Rob's many duties is to liaison with local government associations and as such works very closely with PSATs to keep us on top of the administration's policies and actions. Uh, this has been especially important uh, during the COVID-19 crisis and Rob and his colleagues have been working hard to keep us well informed. Rob, welcome and thank you for joining us. I hope you and your family are well and holding up through all this. Thanks, Joe. We're, thanks, for, thanks for having me. Uh, you know, we're doing, we're doing really well. I, I, uh, you know, we're really glad to see you back. Rob, thanks so much. Uh, it's good to be back. Hey, Rob, but uh, just to, to preface our conversation, uh, uh, you know, I think it's important to note uh, that as we record this interview, over 7,200 Pennsylvanians uh, have lost their battle with this terrible virus. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, that number is sure to rise. Um, and, and that's unbelievably sobering. Uh, I know the governor uh, and his entire team have been laser focused on, uh, on keeping that number as low as possible and to protect Pennsylvanians the best way they can uh, while balancing the, uh, the continuity of everyday life and commerce. And that, to say the very least, uh, is not an easy task. Uh, uh, you know, this is, this is uncharted territory. This is totally new ground. We haven't seen anything like this, I don't think, in anyone's, uh, anyone's memory, anyone's lifetime. And, and this is, uh, you know, I <laughs> think the biggest challenge we've, we've had to face. Uh, you know, we're not yet through this thing. Uh, I think, you know, the fall is coming and, and as everyone from, uh, you know, Dr. Fauci uh, on down and, and all of our uh, state officials have said, you know, this, this will likely be back. And, um, you know, we've already seen some of that in Pennsylvania, although, you know, uh, you know thank God not as, as uh, to the extent that some of our, uh, our fellow states have seen, especially in the South, but, I think the most important thing in all of this is that, you know, we've all worked together, worked hard, worked 24 seven to, uh, and it's all to keep our citizens safe. As you said, we, we've unfortunately lost 7,200 uh, or more Pennsylvanians, certainly, you know, unfortunately, you know, we probably lose more, but um, I, I think we can, we can quantify the countless thousands that we saved by acting quickly, decisively, and, and all pushing together in one direction. So I think we are thankful um, at the at the state level and in the governor's office, that, that we have such a collaborative group of, of leaders from uh, you know from us uh, you know all the way down to the local level. Uh, you know I think that everyone is really rowing in the same direction, working together. Uh, our members uh, they're continuing to work on keeping uh, the wheels of government uh, rolling, just as the the governor is the state level and uh, and uh, our colleagues and other uh, in other uh, uh, forms of government across the Commonwealth. Um, how has the governor viewed that that partnership? I think that you know one thing that the governor has repeatedly said to me, and I know he said to, to you, Joe, and I know he said to uh, a lot of the local officials that he talks to, is that you know we all have our roles, right? And while while yes, we at the state level, um, you know, are are kind of looking out for the entire commonwealth, what is critically critically important is um, is that knowledge that we get from our conversations with you. You know, we hear from. Uh, from our township supervisors, our commissioners, what is really going on the ground. Um, the regional directors, the, we have five regional directors in the governor's office. Um, they are uh, based out of intergovernmental affairs. I talk to uh, I talk to those folks um, uh, at least <laughs> at least once a week, but uh, throughout this thing, uh, more like every day. And, and uh, you know, they are I think constantly in touch with um, with our, our local officials and everyone should, should use them as a resource to, uh, you know, get questions or, or perspective in so that we can, um, you know, get answers out as quickly as possible, but also, uh, you know, so that we have that real picture of, of what's happening on the ground. Many of our members, uh, you know, we've been able to, uh, weather this crisis, if you will, but as this thing continues, uh, to evolve, um, you know, a lot of our members and other members uh, throughout the, the Commonwealth local governments uh, are going to be faced with some, some difficult funding choices. Yeah. Um, can you share some of the thoughts uh, on, on what the governor uh, might be thinking on, on how to keep, uh, you know, not only the state, but local governments moving forward, uh, you know, during this crisis and after? Most important in all this is the health and safety of our citizens. And that's, that's where we have all focused our energy. 
Um, I think right behind that is is the fiscal impact because there is going to be a you know uh, as I said unfortunately we're not done we're still moving through this thing and uh, it's it's already big it's likely to get bigger um, and and we need to do everything we can to ensure that we are uh, continuing to deliver the services that uh, our citizens need from from the state level all the way to the local level. Um, you know, luckily we had the CARES Act funding that came in, um, which, uh, you know, was, uh, you know, close to $5 billion um, that we were able to, to use to, you know, do the uh, you know, hazard pay grants and county block grants and, um, uh, you know, some healthcare funding, all, all those uh, different things that were, uh, you know, were our critical services and helped to kind of keep us up and running. Um, but I, I, I think that, you know, at the state level, we uh, are facing a, a massive hole uh, as, our, uh, as our, our counties, as our, our boroughs and townships and cities. Uh, you know, everyone is, um, is going to face a really big challenge because of this. Um, some early estimates on that, that the size of that deficit at the state level are, are between um, five and six billion dollars. The choices that we are forced to make if we, if we get no, uh, no additional federal assistance um, are, are uh, you know, either drastic, drastic cuts to services or massive tax increases. I don't think that uh, now is the time for either of those. Uh, exactly. and, and, um, and so we, you know, we are uh, working with our, uh, our congressional delegation um, in Pennsylvania. We're pushing them to, um, to advocate for additional federal funding for, for both for us at the state level, but also at the, at the local level. Uh, you know, we need them to act and we need all of them to, to act quickly and push to get that funding out. Exactly. And, 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 and we are working uh, as well to, to, to make sure that, uh, that we include that funding for, for state and local, uh, for local governments as well. Appreciate that. Thank you. Rob, uh, finally, uh, amidst all this bad news, uh, do you have <laughs> anything that you might want to share uh, that you've seen in the performance of your job uh, that gives you hope? Uh, that Pennsylvania is going to emerge from this COVID nightmare that we all seem to be stuck in. This thing's been with us for five months, right? I think that uh, if I'm remembering correctly, our first case was um, uh, confirmed on March 6th, 5th or 6th there. Uh, so it's just about five months now. Um, and if you kind of, if you look outside, our, our society has changed drastically. Um, you know, we have... Uh, everyone is wearing the mask, uh, you know, you got the plexiglass up at the grocery store and everyone's staying six feet apart, which can feel a little bit limiting, but um, I think that it is, it is really, really incredible how, um, how Pennsylvania and, and our citizens have come together to, uh, to act and to kind of, you know, change, again, change their society, change their lives with the goal of keeping each other, keeping our families, our neighbors, our, our communities uh, safe. So I think there is some hope out there. I, I can't agree more, Rob. And, and with that, uh, I think that's all the time. You're a busy man. Rob, thanks so much uh, for, for taking the time uh, to, uh, uh, to talk with our township supervisors and, and, and uh, our members at, uh, at PSATs. And, and thanks so much for being our guest. Thank you. Thanks for everything you all do. And, and as a guy who you know, was born and raised in a township up in Luzerne County, he greatly right. appreciates the work that you all do. So thank you. Thank you. And remember, if you like what you're seeing, email TVN at PSATS.org and subscribe to PSATS YouTube channel and follow our social media pages for more township video news content. And as always, thanks for watching.